For today's video, I am going to be reviewing the Ordinary Salicylic 2% Mask. Now, this is a mask that is, of course, formulated for acne-prone skin. So if you've congested skin, deal with breakouts, then this might intrigue you. So this retails for $12 and you get 1.7 fluid ounces or 50 ml. This is a mask formulated to target lackluster tone and it is also supposed to help with texture. So if you have texture on the skin, it's supposed to kind of help with that. Um, I have, these are actually not any active blemishes. I don't have any active blemishes right now, but um, this is kind of just a leftover spot from an active blemish. Um, any of the spots that you are seeing on my skin are from past blemishes that I just have marks from, but I definitely do have acne prone skin, so I'll be able to let you guys know if I do think that this um, is something that would help with breakouts. You know, I do have some texture spots, so I could definitely test it for that. Um, now, I have used this before, so I already kind of know my thoughts on this, um, but I want to do a demo applying this and just give my overall thoughts on this. Oh, also, there are some things you might want to note about this. So this, of course, the main thing in here, the main ingredient that really stands out is the salicylic acid in here. This is also vegan. It's made without silicones. It's alcohol-free. And then also some things you might want to note about it is that it is free of parabens, formaldehydes, phthalates, mineral oil, mineral oil, oxybenzone, coal tar, and sulfates, SLS and SLES. It is also vegan, gluten-free, and cruelty-free. So those are some of the things about it. Also, they do say that this is infused with charcoal and clays. This mask enhances the look of smoothness and clarity while leaving skin feeling refreshed. It also removes dead cells from the surface of oily and blemish-prone skin to reveal more visibly radiant skin beneath. So I do have combination skin. My skin definitely is feeling drier today. Um, it's pretty cold outside. I feel like when it is camera focus. I feel like when it is colder outside, my skin definitely does get a little bit more dry, but I do, I would say I have combination skin. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get to the demo. So they do say only to leave this on for 10 minutes. Like they say don't leave it on for more than 10 minutes. Um, and this feels like really like creamy, smooth going on. It's super easy to apply. Removing it is also really easy. It does dry down. It's not like quite like a charcoal mask. I feel like it doesn't get like as dry, but um, it definitely does like dry down. It may feel like a little bit tight on the skin once it is dry. Um, and I guess you don't really need like too much product. I will say it is very difficult to squeeze this out of the tube Which is a little annoying, but it's not like a huge deal But it can be a little bit diff difficult to get the product out I look so good right now All right, and then I'm just going to leave this on for 10 minutes and then I will remove it And I guess I'll just kind of talk to you guys about how it feels um, when you do remove it also actually how it feels right now it's not like super intense but i can definitely feel it on my skin it feels like it's kind of doing something it has like a little bit of like a warming sensation i guess um obviously if you're feeling like burning or anything that's not really a good thing you don't really want your skincare to burn burning doesn't necessarily mean that it's working but this does feel like it's doing something but it's not like painful but i can definitely feel like a little bit of some kind of like sensation and I think that's you know from the salicylic acid in this then once you do remove it which of course I'm going to show you guys what my skin looks like afterwards but I was so surprised after the first time that I used this I removed it and my skin felt so soft and honestly felt softer than sometimes when I use exfoliators like my skin just felt so soft and I can definitely see why this would leave you like with a really like more like maybe like even toned skin tone um just because it like leaves the skin so soft so it is going to be helping with like getting rid of some of those dead skin cells so you know it's not like for like getting rid of dark spots or anything like that but i feel like it can help with evening out the skin tone just because it does help to kind of exfoliate the skin um so i definitely agree with that where it says it can help to get rid of dead skin cells i definitely think it does that like it left my skin feeling so nice and soft but anyway i will leave this on for the rest of the time 
no more than 10 minutes and then I will be right back to show you guys what my skin looks like. So this is what the mask looks like when it is dry. It is totally dry now and it doesn't feel like a charcoal or clay mask. Sometimes those will feel really dry and leave your skin feeling super tight. Now this one definitely does feel dry and it does have a little bit of that tight feeling but I find that it's not as dry or tight feeling as some charcoal and clay masks. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and remove it now. Alright guys, this is what my skin looks like now. I don't know if you guys can really tell that, tell that much of a difference, but as far as how it feels, like it feels so, so soft, like I was mentioning, and my skin definitely feels like it's kind of been like cleansed in a way. So if you are looking for a mask that is affordable and it's going to help with getting rid of some blemishes, it's going to help with um, getting rid of some dead skin cells, gently exfoliate the skin, and then also it can even help with getting rid of some texture, then I definitely think that this is worth giving a try or at least checking it out online and seeing if it does a Look like something that you might want to try but because it is $12 I feel like you don't have a whole lot to you to lose it's definitely very affordable so it's not like you're spending like $30 or more on a face mask that you don't know how it's gonna work for you at least this is very affordable also the tube uh, the size of this you know you don't really need a whole lot of products so I feel like you're gonna be able to get quite a few uses out of this as well so it's affordable and I feel like you're gonna be able to get some good use out of this. It's gonna last for quite a few applications. Um, I mean, it's not like a huge bottle, but I feel like this will last like 10 times or more. I mean, you just don't need a whole lot of product. Definitely like does spread um, really well, so that's my thoughts but if you guys do have any questions definitely let me know in the comment section below and if you guys are new here and do want to see even more content from me in the future i would absolutely love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel that would mean so much to me um if you guys do want to see any more of my mask like face mask videos i do have a whole playlist for that where i've done reviews on other face masks so definitely check that out if you are interested but anyway thank you all so much for watching and i hope to see you all for my next video bye guys <laughs>